in this how to we are going to learn that how to check uh, for the existence of records into the database this is frequently used when you have a login page and you are asking for username and password for the uh, from the user and you want to check uh, whether that user exists in your database or not so for the to to do this how to what we have done is that we have created one sample form on the ASP space so let me create one sample form on the ASP space and here is my sample form as you can see here uh, we have one HTML table and then we have first name text box we have last name text box and then we have button and on the click of the button we have uh, 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 executed the check record uh, server side method and then we have a label called LBL message where we will show whether the record exists or not. Uh, instead of using username and password, I have just used first name and last name. So I will just check for the first name and the last name. If first name and last name is equal, we will uh, show a success, method, a success message, otherwise fail one message. So now let us copy the uh, check record uh, server side method as well. So before we do that, we, have, we will have a, a, a database connection in the code behind as you can see again it is doing the same thing is it is uh, retrieving the con str means database connection string uh, from the web config and storing into underscore con str variable and uh, here is the check record uh, method now let me show you what is this check record method doing and let us first correct it so here is the yes looks like we are done yes now what we have done here is that we have as usual instantiated the SQL connection and once we have the database uh, connection uh, in the form of SQL connection object then what we have done is that we have written a SQL command uh, sorry SQL statement and uh, it is a select auto ID from personal detail where first name is the first name and last name is the last name now the the first name will be nothing but the value of the txt first name that is in my ASPX page and the last name will be the value of the txt last name text box that is my in my ASPX page so I have just I'm just trying to uh, you know uh, demonstrate this this is not I know this is not the ideal scenario to check the first name and last name but but you can assume that you are going to check username and password here now once we have the SQL parameter then we have added this, the SQL parameters array of SQL parameters into the command and then we have opened the connection and uh, used the dot execute scalar method now uh, you must have noticed that uh, uh, till now we had either used execute non query to insert update or delete records uh, and to load the record uh, uh, from the database we have used uh, data adapter dot fill method but in order to check for a single record whether that exists or not we can use dot execute scalar method this is much faster than uh, no using the uh, fill method to check whether the record exists or not so in case you have uh, to check the uh, for the existence of the record uh, then what you can do is that you can use dot execute scalar method of the command object and this basically returns the object and then once you have the object you can close the database connection and check for that object if that object is not null it means that uh, the record exists and if it object is null means the record does not exist now here because my if my object will not be null then what we are doing is that we are writing a message saying that a record uh, exist into uh, record exist and its auto id is the obj dot true string now what is what this obj will contain this obj will contain the field value that we have written in the select statement so in case we have in this case we have written auto id so this obj will have the auto id value if that record exists okay so let me run this page and show you how it is how it is working so here is my page fine now let me show you the database record first so here is my database record and uh, uh, what we are doing is that we are writing mic mic and palio so mic mic and p a l i o palio you can see that record exists and its auto id is 20 you can see this auto id auto id is 20 palio 20 auto id 
now in case I will change any uh, of these two first name and last name and will click submit you can see that record doesn't exist so this is the way to check whether the reward exists or not and you, you must have noticed that when I am entering the first name and last name uh, correctly then I am getting the ID as well so this object is nothing but giving me the ID now in case your select statement will return more than one field and more than one record from the database then this executor square will give you the first column of the first row from the database 